But I was always dismissed because I was too short. Sometimes I'd fall asleep in the dressing room. And the coach had to come and wake me up. So I was always dismissed because I was too short. Before we get started on today's epi, I just wanted to say good morning. Uh, also, I just wanted to do a cheeky little brag about the fact that Roma every year sends me uh, one of their kits. And uh, shout out Gianmarco and the AS Roma Esports boys for sending me over the fresh, fresh Roma kit. It has my name on the back. Just oh, even oh, even smells like maybe uh, Cacio e Pepe with a little bit of bottled, uh, bottled glass Coke. Oh my god. I mean, just, I mean, new, dude. And it goes with the shoes. And it goes with the cheeky Roma shoes that I bought, man. I mean, I'm just gonna show up to the gym today, just absolutely dripped out. What's up, boys, and welcome to the Adidas Numbers Up Lorenzo Insigne, aka Glitch Signe, a guy that uh, Italian supporters are probably not too fond of right now, given uh, the performance, uh, b b given the performance, uh, the recent performance, which has meant that Italy did not directly qualify for the World Cup. They're currently, like Portugal, going through to uh, playoffs in order to qualify for the World Cup. So today we get a, a, a Insigne Numbers Up. Uh, Ad uh, Adidas numbers up card. A lot of people when they saw the card were kind of wondering what stat got upgraded and it looks like it is the 91 pace uh, that will go up to uh, that will go up to 96 at the end of December and then all the other stats will get a plus one at the end of December and then in April of 2026 uh, the pace will go up to 99 and then the other stats will uh, will get an increase uh, get another plus one increase if I am not uh, mistaken. So it's about 100,000 coins. A lot of people love the 86 rated version of the card. You slap a hunter on him he becomes a very interesting card. Force star four star and if we're looking at the Serie A landscape in terms of player values uh, if you missed out on the uh, if you missed out on the Pedro which went for about 85,000 coins uh, it leaves you with the Chucky Lozano and then the El Sharawi as really the only two options that you're going to go to if you want a high level uh, left winger unless you want to use someone on the right mid over on the left wing on off chem uh, it leaves you with Insigne as one of the options that you're looking at right now uh, and you've got a few days as a matter of fact uh, let's check how many days this SBC is available for it is the no numbers insignia and it is here for six days which is pretty standard so it looks like it's coming around a hundred thousand coins which is not cheap and it's not a crazy upgrade it's plus 36 eight of the 36 total in-game stats come in the form of uh pace uh, pace increases which is pretty damn nice right he's a lot faster than his base if you slap the hunter on him he turns into a pretty damn rapid card already has all those traits that we love and today we are going to find out if this 87 lorenzo insignia aka glitch insignia adidas numbers up might be worth doing smash like on the video if you're eating spaghetti or eating some sort of Italian meal while you're watching this epi. Smash like on the episode if you guys are just screaming cool at the top of your lungs right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So, like I said, not many options in the Serie A. It's either Chucky or Steven El Sharawi, and then El Shah has the five-star, uh, the five-star, three-star, oh, sorry, the four-star, three-star, and then Chucky Lozano has the four-star, three-star. Obviously, the two of them are pace demons, and there are some really nice stats, and, you know, you very well may be happy with the El Sharawi or the Lozano, whom, if you combine their prices together, aren't even half of what this Insigne costs. But, Again, some cards are just the cards that they are and, uh, you know, play a certain way. So some people, you know, live and die by an Insigne. Some people already have an El Sharawi or Chucky Lozano and you are fine with those uh, with those cards. So what do you get? You get the four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Again, you get a plus four sprint speed. Goes up from 84 to 88. Goes from 90 acceleration up to 94. With the Hunter Chem style, you can take him up to 99 acceleration, uh, 90, uh, 98 sprint speed. He goes to 87 attack and positioning with 87 finishing and 84 shot power. And then already has those ridiculous dribbling stats. The 90 agility, the 94 balance, the 94 ball control, and the 91 reactions. And then has that 76 stamina, which uh, for where we're playing him up top at striker, we're probably going to have to bring him off at some point anyway. Has the... Uh, has the... Um has the trait trifecta of finesse shot, outside the foot shot, and flair. To truly show off what kind of men of culture we are, we're going to be running this squad right here. Uh, was going to use Giovanni Simeone, but we used him in a epi. We used him in the Zaniolo epi, so I, I figured we'd try out this uh, Morata, who came out a couple days ago, and uh, figured we would try him out with the uh, with the engine chem style. But with any further ado, boys, match number one, Vafankul. Bro, Perrin, yo, Mattia Perrin, dude, not only got a glow up in the form of a haircut and, uh, and, 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 and maybe, maybe, maybe a set of veneers or something, not, not only in the form of a fashion glow up, but man has come up with some incredible little saves there. 
What a save! Okay. Alright, uh... He's, dude, he's... Is he act? Wait, is he actually 5'4"? Yeah, man's... Man, wait. Is, is, is Lorenzo Insigne actually 5'4"? I mean, like, he's literally... I mean, I don't know how politically... Like, would it be politically incorrect to call him Ant-Man? The Italian... How, how do you say... Body faint. Lovely little pass. And then Miss Rata. Alright, the game's real... <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish Timo Werner, oh no. Meanwhile, Mattia Perrin might be... Meanwhile, Mattia Perrin might be... I mean, that's my fault, I brought him out. Do you see... When we call him Glitch Genie, that's pretty much... When we call him Glitch Genie, that's what we're talking about. Got him. There's just something about his finishing as well. He's gonna pop it. It's gonna go off the top. It's gonna go off the top of the crossbar and it's gonna come out of the net as well. He's doing a little bit of that strength. That's fun. Good. And then blasting. And I mean, like, there's just... I mean, literally, there's not really much else we can say, man. He just doesn't miss. Continue. Are you... Do you need to see someone? Like, what's going on, my guy? Bro, let's see what that let's see what that pace looks. See the the only thing is he's yeah even guys like Lazzari, even wing backs are gonna body off uh, Insigne. That's the only thing, man. He's got zero zero strength. He has I mean doesn't exactly have the strength of Ant Man. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The second attempted finesse shot from distance with Lorenzo Insigne using a little bit of that left hand long stick dribbling. Again, don't even need the four star skill moves on a card like that. And Shus FC, I've got a feeling, is just probably getting the hell out of here, man. But, uh, so he'll go up to an 88 with plus five pace and then plus one in the rest of the stats. Which I think, I mean, at that stage, I mean, who knows what kind of cards are out by that time. But uh, we could be looking back and looking at this at, uh, at about 100,000 coins is pretty good value. I mean, and look at how he moves. Again, just a lovely little body feint to, uh, to twirl around the defender. And then just put that delicious, delicious Italian finesse he passed him. Uh, is just an absolute thing of beauty. Match number two, Vafanculo. Morata? I, I, you know... I, I don't like to paint players in a negative light, right? But like the miss that we had in that last, uh, the, the miss that we had in the last match, and then that one right there, where I was literally convinced that it was going through. I mean, a player with that finishing, a player with the four-star weak foot, just does not miss that. I guarantee you, Insigne doesn't miss that. I guarantee you, Insigne doesn't miss that. <laughs> okay, that's just me being dumb. That was me just putting on a little bit. That, that was me just putting on a little bit too too much sauce. No one does body feints past the keeper this year. Powered up. He's gonna the, he's gonna, was that the crossbar? I was, I was off the crossbar. I was off the freaking crossbar, man. I'm sure some of you guys might be having success with Maratha, but I can already tell you, based off those two chances, sometimes all it just take sometimes all it takes is one. That's a. F That's not a pen. All right, cool. Yeah, this game is rigged. And there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing fancy, and that's kind of the. 
that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the underlying thread of FIFA 22, right? Like, listen, I know we're a month and a half, almost two months into the game, but uh, it's, don't get fancy in front of the net, man. Just cross, just just power, just blast it. Nice, and that's Koulibaly. That's that's regular. It's the power of regular Koulibaly, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Another lovely little finish. Yeah. A, a lovely, beautiful, beautiful little finish. 2 0. Insignia has, uh, what is that, six goals for us in two matches played. Showcase his ability to finesse shot, but again, the most important thing and the, uh, the, 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 the main thing on the, uh, on the Glitch Senior card is the fact that uh, his, his movement. Yeah, his movement is just nuts. Again, if you're a strength guy and you're, you're wanting to play up at uh, striker, make sure you have an Arnatovic or a, um, an Arnatovic or an Immobile, Immobile maybe even a uh, Giovanni Simeone for that matter. But um, I, I wonder if, yeah, I'm thinking maybe the best place for Insigne to play to utilize all of his stats, specifically the 86 dribbling is, is, probably, uh, is probably center forward or cam. That was a good goal. Yeah, that's a good goal, too. I'm just... I, I, I just... I'm just maybe just... I'm just... I, I, I just... I'm just maybe just... I mean, you guys make your own decision on Murata. I don't know much. I don't. I don't. Murata, my dude. Like legit. The post, like this right here, needs to be in. Like nice setup, right? Like nice run for Murata to get around the Koulibaly, right? And then this. I mean, I just didn't do anything wrong. I I literally pointed that at the right at the top right hand corner, and it just goes off the post. So my thoughts on the card in terms of value. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you guys know I'm a Serie A fanboy. I'm gonna try to keep that out of the equation. We go ahead and we get ourselves a cheeky 85 Memphis to pie. I'm going to say there's some things he does better than Toki Lozano, there's some things he does better than Pedro, and there's some things that he does better uh, than the El Sharawi, each of which have some positives and negatives. The main negative on this on this Insignia is the price and then also the stamina, which I didn't find to be too much of an issue. I'm going to say 3.5 out of 5 has the best passing stats of any of El Sharawi or Toki Lozano uh, on, in, um, in FIFA 22. The only issue that you would have here is maybe uh, the fact that you already have the base Insignia at 11k, but listen, if you're already using Insignia, you would stand to reason that you might want to upgrade uh, to this 87, which, like I said, is guaranteed another upgrade. Will be an 88 at the end of December, and we'll have, uh, I think, what is it, 96, 97 sprint speed. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and say three and a half out of five. I would give it a four, maybe a four. I I'd give it a four, four and a half if it was valued, maybe around the 75, 80,000 coin mark. But I think it's about 20 or 30,000 coins too ex uh, overpriced. And then on the pitch performance, I'm going to say four out of five. Lived up the expectations. Everyone that's used the base in CNA knows exactly why this card is cracked. He's got the finesse shot. He's got that low center of grab. Uh, and uh, just can bang goals with the uh, with the Hunter Chem style. And now, even going from the 86 to 87, gets a plus eight, uh, gets gets plus uh, plus four sprint speed, plus four acceleration, and will get an additional jacked off number of uh, pace stats at the end of December. My verdict is that he's about 20 to 25 thousand coins overpriced. I still think he's a really really good card. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. Serie yeah, boys, we're eating. Smash like on the epi. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Till next time, my bros. Choose later. A day. Thank you.